welcome to the Prince Soft Cover. This is our online platform where we launch books. And today we have a guest with us, a special guest who's also an author and a social worker, Ms. Rubel Nagi. Uh, welcome, Ms. Rubel, uh, to our Soft Cover. Uh, if we talk about Rubel, she's in fact the founder of the Rubel Nagi Art Foundation and Rubel Nagi Design Studio. She's also an award winning and internationally acclaimed artist with over 800 murals and over 150 exhibitions worldwide and uh, she's also the first woman artist to be invited to exhibit at the Rashtrapati Bhavan Museum Gallery. So uh, welcome Rubel and uh, she has written this book called The Slum Queen which I have with me. It's called The Slum Queen uh, which is by the Garud Publications and this is about a 400 and, uh, 240 pages book written in a very simple language and this book in fact uh, describes and uh, mainly talks about Rubel and her initiatives uh, over the years and, uh, you know, what shaped her into what she is today. And uh, this also talks particularly about Missal uh, Mumbai, which later expanded into Missal India. So uh, Rubel, uh, my first question to you is uh, basically, you know, if we can just start off by talking about you and, uh, you know, what shaped you into what you are today? How did you get drawn to this uh, field of social work? Uh, thank you so much for having me here. And I'm always excited to talk about our different initiatives because I always feel that when I talk it's not just Ruben Nagi talking, it's all my team, my volunteer, people in the slums, people in the villages, they speak through my voice and I, we can you know reach out to more and more people and talk about them basically. And uh, I have the book with me also. You just showed it. So I thought I'll also show you. <laughs> yes. So, uh, well, you know, uh, the book, actually, uh, I, I have a habit of whenever there is something that excites me, that happens, touches my heart or some incident that happens in your life, I, I would just come and, you know, pen down on a paper. Mm -hmm. And then papers kind of became like lots of them. I started pinning them and filing them. And then, unfortunately, the pandemic happened. And the first lockdown is when I was like, OK, being the frontline worker, we were out and about working. But we had those seven days where everything was shut. Everything was on standstill and everyone was uh, instructed by the government to stay indoor and, you know, like right. no movement at all. And that's when those seven days, I, I guess, uh, were, were the one when I put all my those written papers together wrote lots more and uh, then my husband suddenly said that you know what I think uh, he read that and he said you know what do you, you think you should like convert it into a book I said you think it's worth it he said yeah d definitely uh, not because I'm your husband but I'm, I definitely feel that this can inspire a lot of youth a lot of people yeah. and when you talk about slums for you they are family they are where you live most of the time now so why not let let people read it I said, all right. So that is where the whole uh, slum queen journey actually began in mm -hmm. 2020, uh, the book journey. But yeah. uh, my work, my connection to uh, children, my connection to uh, social work happened from my childhood. My dad being in the armed forces, we traveled to the smallest possible village, to the cities, very less of cities. Actually, I've literally grown up in villages. Uh, and smaller town and I, I still love them because the energy of a village or a smaller city is just so beautiful because you know in bigger cities I find sometimes we are all so lost but smaller cities everyone kind of knows you you're connected to each other so it just feels like one big family so I traveled a lot with him in fact in my book also I, I've mentioned that my travel actually helped me evolve as a person because I saw every state we went to every city we went to in two years we had different language, we had different looking people, we had different food, we had different celebrations of their uh, festivals. They dress differently from south to north to west to east. I mean, it, mm -hmm. India is so versatile. So I guess that's what connected me to people. And, you know, I would always see my uh, father would, when he, when he would drop me to school, a lot of children playing in the bastis. And I would say, Ki, you know, dad, ye school nahi jate hai, bache. and he said, you're too young for it. But... Uh, We'll, we'll get there. So somewhere down the line, kids always attracted me. I, I honestly love bachas. For me, it's all about them. But my focus was uh, education because I studied in Hindi medium for till fourth standard. And, you know, there was one time where I couldn't speak English at all. And, you know, that kind of 
puts you down when you go into um, uh, birthday parties or you meet different friends who can speak you know in army you, they can speak fluent english and you you kind of are staying at the back because aapko itni achhi angrezi nahi bolni aati and kahin na kahin aap sochte hain ki shayad iski wajah se those people will not make friends with you so then when dad got posted to uh, south in karnataka and that's where i got into the army school and where we had english medium school and we had english subjects uh, i studied social science also till fourth in hindi uh, that is where slowly and gradually i started learning english and then then i realized that hum if i can feel that being a daughter of a man who wears the uniform because your uniform commands a lot of respect a lot of dignity then what about those children uh, who are you who don't come from that background so hmm. it was always there in my mind that this i got is kind that somewhere down the line i knew that mujhe wo line chunni hai jisme main logon se judi rahu which can keep hmm. me connected to people for doing something for them whether i can do it or i will not be able to do it but i definitely want to try so that is how the whole uh, uh, connecting to people journey wanting to be with them uh, i did i didn't know that i would come to bombay and that's how my life would shape up this is where i will go this is what i will do yeah. but bachpan se hi i had this in my mind that mujhe kuch na kuch logon ke sath bachchon ke sath judke karna hai yeah and it's very interesting because you know uh, you haven't chosen a very uh, traditional path of social work in fact uh, through your art is what you are trying to you know uplift the society i mean i did not delve much into it into the introduction because that is what we will be talking and i would want you to uh, say it uh, you know it should come it from the horse's mouth so that's why i did not delve much into it but if you could tell us like what is the meaning of art to you and uh, you know how did you use art for the uh, upliftment of the society what what thought came to your mind when it when did it strike to you that it is art to art that i want to do what i'm doing so basically i when i came to bombay i got married at at the age of 18 and a half 19 my husband's from bombay i mean his three generations have been in bombay he's a mumbaiker so uh, you know my mother in law was very creative and uh, she always would sit down and do some art put some uh, glass pieces together she mm-hmm. she also did great murals and i would sit with her and i was a child myself literally and she would say okay put this together put this together and then after a couple of months she she could tell that you know i'm very good at it and she said you know what uh, i think uh, you should pursue this i'm like that um, mom you think i'm that creative she said no you're very good at it probably better than me and tomorrow uh, you will do much better than anything that i can even think of so that's where i started learning like you say guru ke aap pas sikhte hain so i guess her role in my life played as a guru where Uh, and because being young you know the mind was open to learn like you go to schools and you go to colleges and you learn at 18 and a half 19 so that is where i guess my art journey with her started we did a beautiful mural for a taj hotel in uh, bombay at that time together so that is where the art journey started and art is such a versatile medium that you know it just kind of breaks all the barriers so i uh, got connected to the founder of uh, pratham madhav chavan uh, he's you can say a guru mentor somebody i look up to i respect on a on a very higher level so i remember going to pune to meet him and uh, to talk about social work and he, we sit back home and laugh now it's been 20 almost 18 17 18 years now he says i saw one thin young girl walking into my office telling me he uh, connect me into social work with you i thought that you know i get so many of these students youngsters who want to come and do social work and you know she is one of them that all right chalo because the recommendation for you to meet came from one of our trustees so i couldn't say no so i i said let's meet so i sat with him we spoke i remember driving to pune from bombay and uh, we had a one hour meeting and he said okay fine uh, we do uh, because you're an artist and you want to connect through art why don't we do an art mm-hmm. camp i said okay sure we let's do an art camp So in Bombay we did the first art camp in Chembur and we had over 325 30 children and for me someone who loves children to see so many children in one room was like heaven <laughs> it was like a treat and they were all making so much noise and you know full on hangama and I was like oh my god i felt like i've arrived <laughs> so it was that feeling you know i i i mean i'm much older now but that 
वो बच्चे वाली जो एक अंदर आपके खुशी होती है वो आज भी मैं महसूस कर सकती हूँ सो वी स्टार्ट द वर्कशॉप द होल प्रथम टीम वॉज देयर एंड actually the turning point that i've mentioned before also and i also want to share it with you that you know when i was giving i'm very uh, hands on with kids i'm not someone because i'm i'm like an artist who's going to do that, like take the workshop forward is sitting on the chair and everyone is working i'm with my like you know the gear i'm right there in in the children so i was sitting and i distributed colors pencils and papers so one child uh, it's mentioned in my book as well yes, one child looked at me yeah. yes when i gave him the pencil he looked at me he said what is this i said so i thought he's joking with me because everyone knows what a pencil is i've also come from a smaller town but i still knew what a pencil is so i said okay you're playing with me i know that's all right we can do masti so i said aapko pata nahi hai ye kya hai so he said nahi maine kabhi nahi dekhi hai now for him to say i don't know what this is and maine kabhi nahi dekhi hai got me thinking that and he had no smile on his face no naughtiness on his face with those big big eyes is a grown up boy today with those big big eyes he's looking at me that i've never seen it say i still get goosebumps when i think of that time and i say i sat there and i said you know this is a pencil is likhte hai you don't have siblings uh, who or you don't you've never even seen your friends using a pencil like anything he says no so i sat there i sharpened the pencil for him i said but अभी अगर पेंसिल पकड़ोगे तो कुछ बनाओगे ही सेट यस आई वुड लाइक टू मेक समथिंग सो आई मेड सम स्क्वायर्स एंड सम सर्कल्स फॉर हिम आई सी ओके नाउ फील कलर्स इन दिस एंड ड्रॉ एंड फील हैप्पी एंड देन एंड ऑफ द वी हैड टू डेज ऑफ आर्ट वर्कशॉप एंड ऑफ द डे इन द इवनिंग आई कुड सी द किड नॉट जस्ट सिटिंग अलोन बट ऑल्सो गेटिंग इन्वॉल्व विद अदर चिल्ड्रेन प्लेइंग शोइंग हिज the drawing to everyone dekh maine banaya hai dekho maine banaya so you know it's like sense of pride that i did this and i came back home then we had the next day another workshop the second day and uh, uh, i get a call on the fourth day from uh, mr chavan saying that so uh, rubel rubel ji i said yes sir <laughs> yes madhav ji he said हमारी तो पूरी प्रथम की टीम आपकी फैन बन गई है आई वाज लाइक बिकॉज़ आई थॉट यू नो आई डोंट नो व्हाट फीडबैक द टीम मस्ट हैव गिवन आई डोंट नो दैट ही टोल्ड हिज टीम दैट गिव मी द फीडबैक अबाउट दिस गर्ल दैट हाउ शी इज इज शी रियली इन्वॉल्व्ड विद चिल्ड्रन और इज शी जस्ट वांटिंग टू बी अनदर सोशल वर्कर इन द लाइन एंड आई थिंक टीम गिव फैबुलस फीडबैक सेइंग दैट मैम डिडंट इट डिडंट फील लाइक मैम इट फेल्ट लाइक वन ऑफ अस एंड ही सेड हमारी टीम तो आपकी फैन बन गई है एंड आई एम वेरी हैप्पी लेट्स टेक दिस फॉरवर्ड इफ यू वांट टू continue this i said of course it'll be honor for me and i would love to learn and then we did many 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 workshops and then he sat me down and he said the way you are with children it's a miracle i i see a lot of youngsters i see a lot of interaction with youth and women and children but you are a natural uh, in this so you must form your own organization how much can you do with pratham and how much will you work with other uh, organizations Uh, you must start your own foundation i said hi i don't know how to do it he said i'll guide you through whatever basic i need to do in fact when i tell him now he says maine to kuch bhi nahi kiya you are giving me too much credit i said so well that is how they uh, that's how the foundation yes, okay. yes absolutely so that is when rubel nagi art foundation was formed 11 years back and uh-huh. uh, we started with that but after this incident i remember going back home i couldn't speak yeah. the same night to anyone because my head was heavy my heart was heavy my i felt like somebody has put like a marble 10 ton marble on my head because living in a city like bombay which is so cosmopolitan i mean it has everything right and there a child has still not seen pencil so where are we heading how and what are we doing in life and she could tell our viewers how uh, old was he he was 5 five, 5 five and a half years old it's not even a 2 year old or a 1 year old who is very right. natural would not yes. but now i mean few years back even a 10 year 2 uh, year old would hold a pencil at least or crayons or something right it's it's yes. the basic thing that a child must have and then right. second day after i finished uh, i sat with my husband in the evening and i said you know what i think i'm going to leave everything <laughs> so he got panic 
<laughs> like what are you talking about you're going to leave everything i said you know what i think god has blessed us with too much and there is no age for uh, doing social work and he thankfully my family supported and he comes from a very philanthropic heart and a mind that uh, feels that there is no age you should do good work whenever you want to he said so what are you thinking about and i told you this before you knew that you're good at it do it so i was very happy that uh, you know my house because i was very young myself that home ground is clear they are, they don't have any objection uh, for me to work in this and then one after the other one after the other and now we go up to millions of children so it never uh, so now i have these kind of incidents very often but positive ones now i make sure that these things don't repeat again because this is not something i honestly i'm telling you this is not something i want to see even in the remotest village or or the biggest slum never ever no matter what you're mm. staying in a village or you're staying in a slum basic education is your right and every child every person should have it and wherever we are working we make sure we cater to that we take care of that and we encourage them to complete their education so this is how the whole foundation uh, journey started and now of course uh, we are doing uh, lots of work and yeah. i still say i tell my team i said each day think that today is the day you started right. and this is where you need to reach if you have 10 people with you please reach out to 100 more because there are so many still in the world who need mm-hmm. your support who need your help and you be that guiding light you be that hand that holds them to pull them out and encourages them to do it because there's so much talent in our country this some our youth our women are just amazing and i literally live with them all the time and they tell us ma'am agar hame koi thodi si disha dikha de samjha de ki ye opportunities hain ye schemes sarkar ne lagayi hain aage hai hamare liye karne ke liye ma'am hum karenge but unfortunately hame zyada uh exposure nahi hai pata nahi chalta so i we also have one team which is which goes literally area to area to even discuss career counseling what do you want to do if you're a dropout where you could join in and complete the graduation today our students are doing mbas and yeah. uh, they're preparing for ks ias um, army so they want to do it but they don't know ki kahan pe form bharna and not everyone no matter how much we say that oh why you don't know you can just google it not everyone understand google like if you yeah. ask me even i'm not someone who googles everything and on you know right. searches everything and there sometimes when somebody speaks to you tells you and then you go and google it makes much more sense so we even yeah. do that so there are lots more to reach and a uh, lot of good ngos are doing great work so i guess everyone together will 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 make sure each child is one of your most uh, you know successful projects i would say uh, which is also visible uh is your misal mumbai project and you have narrated an incident in your book how it all started including the date uh, where you uh, there's a whole chapter 12th jam chapter yes. uh, dedicated to that so could you just narrate that and how and how did it all begin and uh, what is the whole misal in mumbai and then misal india project so we actually launched uh, foundation keeps launching different initiatives like learn to earn rona skill india uh mahila saksham yojana all these different mm-hmm. initiatives in 2016 we launched paint dharavi now paint dharavi was all about beautifying the areas of dharavi where we thought they are very dirty and we will clean we will paint we will do some graffiti we will do some artwork and then do art workshops to get people to understand ki hame safai rakhni chahiye 2018 uh i put my eyes on jafar baba which is the where the launch of misal happened and uh, i still remember i you know i i would cross ceiling all the time i keep looking at this slum and i'm like you know what this would look so nice if they had colors because being an artist you're always seeing colors and i do abstract art bold bold strokes so i i i would always visualize it but then you got caught up in something or the other something or the other so one of my student when shifted there and i went to meet him and his family is where when is, i put uh, where is this area if you could tell our viewers one okay so this is that. this is jafar baba in bandra west mount mm-hmm. mary hill so when you cross the ceiling on the left hand side that you see is this whole uh, mountain which was full of colors couple of uh, months back still is there but it's going into redevelopment now thank god for that uh, so i went to his house and that is the first time i put my eyes on this slum from inside 
earlier I would just drive through, you're paying the toll and you're just leaving. So I put my eyes there and I was like, okay, you know, just sitting there with him, uh, his house was not in a great condition. So I said, uh, I think I, let me repair your house. And I just left after that. And we spoke about other things. I didn't want to put him down by saying that, you know, your house rains are coming, your house will have water clogging and you will have leakage in your house. I came home. I thought, I thought, I thought, I said, why don't I just uh, try and take over the whole uh, Basti and uh, do something about it? So I spoke to my friends who were uh, in that area. I spoke to Poonam. I spoke to Ashishji. And I said, can we, uh, this is what I want to do. Can we start with that? Ashish is Ashish Shela is the MLA of... Uh, Ashish Shela, yes. And yes. Poonam Majan, yes. Poonam Majan. And uh, Poonam was not in actually uh, India at that time, but she messaged immediately back that Rubel, go ahead. And as soon as I come back, whatever is needed, I'll be there. Ashish Ji and his team, whenever uh, we needed, the first few days of communication was needed with people because it was a new area for us. His team was very supportive and amazing. I mean, they, they actually were with us all through. And uh, we picked up, I think in two days, less than two days, we, I, I went the first day, did the whole recce of the area. I, I honestly had some, this thing in my mind that this is what I want to do. Now, all I had to do is just put it in action on ground. And I'm not someone who will speak to you that, okay, we want to do this. And then mm-hmm. it's gone. You will see that I'll, either I'll be chasing you or my office will be chasing you and, and we'll say, okay, you know what? Kuch karna hai. Agar humne decide kiya, what are we waiting for? Let's just do it. Let's talk less. Uh, let's do more. I don't believe in too much of advocacy. A little advocacy and more groundwork has always been my motto. And we've uh, shown that we want to be uh, working on ground. Because till the time you are there in the Basti, in the slums, in the villages with people, no matter how much you say, you cannot understand their basic needs. You cannot understand the problems they face. I'm not saying everyone has to go into slums, but I'm saying, if you want to work in that area, you need to know basics of that area. That's very important. So I yeah. prepared my team, picked up my buckets, entered the slum, we started painting. The main aim of Missal Mumbai, which became Missal India later, was not to just color the wall. That was paint the Haravi. The main aim was connecting to people through art, connecting hmm. to people through creativity. Because art is a medium that breaks the barrier between people and you, the strangers, like this slum was completely new for me. I was entering, I was meeting new people. They didn't know me. I didn't know them. If I went home to home saying that, Hame, aap dekhna, aapke school ja rahe ke nahi, kya kaam karna chahti and they would just look at you and say, you know what, you, you just need a database. You can take it from a BMC. So do you that was, face resistance at that point of time? No, at, no at, not, not at that time. So we started with color. So everyone came out of second or third day. I remember I was standing in front of one of the homes and I had more than uh, 200 people behind me, like huge, huge crowd. So I wondered, I said, I didn't know. So they said, Kya kar rahe ho, ma'am? Kya kar? they had some function also. So Kya, Kya ho I said, colors, we're doing this. We want to waterproof. We want to do this. So out of curiosity, now art is the only medium that can create that in your mind and heart. That what is happening? What is she doing? A lot of people came and said, ma'am, ghar tootne wale hai. Or uh, you're marking the house, that which ones mm-hmm. are going to be broken, which ones are not going to be broken, ma'am. Is there any All builder who's... Yeah, there. yeah, of course. Uh, is there any builder doing this or government doing this right. or somebody is doing this for vote bank? What is happening? Because I was there personally, I said, let's sit down. Let me explain one by one what we want to do. Now, the, after the first week of work, when people started understanding that she is a lot of fun, the whole team is fun. We sit and gossip here. We chat here. We, we sing songs here in the evening. So they started kind of connecting to us. They started coming out and talking to us about their problems. What do they want? What do they uh, don't have? So that kind of got us together. And this... This, uh, what do you say, the barrier between them and us broke. And from strangers, we became families. So then, then after that, we were treated every every day for samosa and tea, sometimes breakfast. Sometimes they would say, if you're staying back late, we'll prepare a meal for you. And then they understood that we want to do this. In fact, a lot of people said, 
मैम बट ये तो इस्लाम अगर टूट जाएगा तो आई सेट कोई बात नहीं लेकिन जब तक आप यहाँ पे हो यू डोंट हैव टू स्लीप विद वॉटर टिल हियर इन हाउस सो दे वर लाइक ओके इट्स थिंकिंग अबाउट इट आई सेट इट्स नॉट जस्ट कलर वी डोंट वॉन्ट यू टू स्लीप इन वॉटर टिल हियर आई सीन माई स्टूडेंट्स ऑन अ वुडन प्लैंक वेर दे आर स्लीपिंग हियर सो slowly and gradually we connected we sat with them we spoke with them addressed their problems addressed their issues then it kind of you know so that's one thing led to another then we did different workshop so main aim of misal mumbai was to break the barrier through art through colors mm. and connect to people to educate them uh, why they should take their children to school why it is important for a girl child to also get educated ghar mein sirf bete ko nahi padhana hai हमारी बेटी को भी आगे लेके जाना है वी स्पोक अबाउट हाइजीन सैनिटेशन वेस्ट मैनेजमेंट क्लेनलीनेस स्वच्छ भारत सो वी एड्रेस ऑल दी वी डिड डिफरेंट मेगा ड्राइव वे वी गॉट एवरी वन टूगेदर गॉट बी एम सी टूगेदर गॉट रेसिडेंट टूगेदर क्लीन द होल स्लम देन वी ऑल्सो मेड एवरी लेन वी मेड आर वी वी गिव दम द नेम चैंपियंस आर चैंपियंस दैट हु लिव देर देर ओके नाउ दिस इज योर लेन यू आर गोन टू बी रिवॉर्डेड इफ यू कीप दिस लेन क्लीन we okay. even we even taught them toilet use because there are a lot of people though even if they are living in the big cities does not mean they know how to use toilets so we mm. even did classes on that so and you know in slum you don't have toilets in your house you have community toilets but luckily under swachh bharat scheme which came later after that a uh, lot of people got their toilets so all these workshops happened with misal so misal was that one initiative that got everything together before that hmm. we were uh, focusing on education we were focusing on uh, cleanliness on uh, beautification but with with my misal we got the education we got the cleanliness hygiene sanitation skilling for women we started different mm-hmm. centers where lot of people a uh, lot of women who want to work but they don't get an opportunity whatever may be the reason poverty accessibility or exposure they came forward we did numerous workshop where we said whoever wants to work it's great to be a housewife uh, i in fact it's it's tougher to be a housewife but if you want to work we will support you come in our centers learn and on and then we yeah. within one year we expanded to many different cities we replicated the model because when people came media spread the word when people came and saw the result that you can actually have on ground impact with this kind of initiative which can be so small to start with but can become bigger is when a lot of other people approached us and we went uh, across the country and then of course kashmir again was very fascinating which we'll talk about yeah if you can uh, since you've already broached the topic if you can talk about it okay so then we actually uh, got uh, invited by the indian army to have an art workshop in uh, uh, kashmir and uh, a woman empowerment camp and i still remember i quoted this before i still remember talking to the officer saying women empowerment you mean i have to sit in a big hall with 500 women and take the mic and speak about empowering them i'm not doing that aap batao kaam kya karna hai unko sahi maayne mein empowerment kaise deni hai how we can make them independent and self reliant let's talk about that so he said ma'am nahi <laughs> can we please do this also we have already told them and they are excited to meet you so i said all right uh, but please keep this in mind because i'm not someone who will just give lectures and come back we must do yeah. something on ground sustainable yeah. and we did the art workshop first day art workshop was for some 300 400 students and we had more than 700 plus even the drivers of the buses they came and painted there was a lot of uh, youngsters from colleges who came with the school children and i'm not talking about children like small children they were all 8 9 10 standard they are kind of grown ups yeah. and they said ma'am humne to kabhi art camp kiya nahi hai humne to painting hum karte nahi hai why should we do all that so i said try something that you've never done are you not bored of doing the same thing again and again why don't you try ma'am we don't know how to paint i said you don't have to paint you just draw put some color on the paper and do it they all sat for four hours they all did and by the time they left the commander uh, gave the feedback i mean he got the feedback even during the camp and he was like this was amazing ma'am we never thought that this can happen i said this is why i say when you connect through art it kind of breaks that you know that negative thing in your mind that and kashmir is volatile you know there anything you do with the army or always firstly into this thing about ki 
the locals don't want to participate but they yeah. did come they participated in a big way next day i met all the women in that i actually could locate like put my hands on three four women who are working in our center they're heading our centers now and the force the will they have in them to work is something that takes me back to kashmir again and again though it's my hometown but mm-hmm. uh, my work takes me much more there and then slowly and gradually one led to another we did go close to lc we did uh, workshops we did we opened centers in sopor danjiwacha gom emmatpura vatlav handwara kufwara I'm, i'm forgetting the name now there's so many uh, so nothing in shrinagar all in the rural uh, north kashmir mm-hmm. and today girls are doing fantastic but do you think like uh, only art will uh, solve the problems because you know if we just talk about let's just say talk about dharavi uh, do you think that the problems are in magnitude like the magnitude is so huge for the problems that they are facing right now uh, although the foundation is doing its part but uh, do you think this is all is enough or what more needs to be done what are your current projects that you are working on uh, you know uh, along with what your foundation is doing or have been doing has been doing so far see art is that first step that's it mm. then it's out like you mm. and me we meet over a art workshop or we meet mm. over a uh, women empowerment workshop or in a cleanliness drive you've mm. seen somewhere on media social media that rnf is doing this you come there you join yeah. then you talk to me it's like getting people together then art takes the back step like i said colors will fade in few years for misal this is our tagline we creatively courageous colors will fade in few years but the changes we want to bring in your uh, life the in your mind to stay uh, clean not to uh, litter cleanliness is uh, important sending your children to school is important making your women work because they want to work and because mm. they women you don't keep them home you make them work is what the focus of misal was and even in kashmir and even other parts of our uh, country that we are working in skilling we focus a lot on skilling in fact we are launching another uh, initiative called studio saksham on uh, 15th august which is about all the products that our girls are making in villages and slums will come online for you to buy so you know instead of us it's very easy to open a skill center put hmm. machines put the equipment and say okay come and learn where yeah. is the problem problem is what happens after they have learned how do you generate employment how yeah. do you get them to work because according to me atmanirbharta baaton se nahi aati hai atmanirbharta hamari mahilaon mein tabhi aayengi jab wo apne pairon pe khadi hongi when they are financially independent when they have money in their bank they can take calls only then they will and women have come and told me mam hamare paas do paisa aata hai na bank mein jab aap हमको ये हमारा शॉल बिकता है या कुशन कवर हम जो बनाते हैं आप हमें उससे दिलाती हैं तो हमें बहुत अच्छा लगता है माय मदर इन लॉ रिस्पेक्ट्स मी माय हस्बैंड सेस ओ यू नो व्हाई आई डोंट वरी आई विल डू दिस फॉर यू यू गो अटेंड योर सेंटर क्लास एंड यू गो मेक व्हाट शी इज गिवन यू टू मेक सेंस ऑफ प्राइड यू नो इट्स वेरी इजी टू से कि ओके okay, हमने सिखा दिया बट प्रॉब्लम इन मोस्ट ऑफ द एरियाज इन आर कंट्री इज वेयर व्हाट हैपेंस नेक्स्ट you've mm-hmm. done your 9 months course what happened next so studio saksham is something we've come together for where we don't have to take our products and go to people we put it online and across the globe people can buy it it's studio saksham made in india that yeah. is what we are launching very very soon and i'm glad i'm talking you're the first one i'm talking this to <laughs> well uh, all the best for that and congratulations for this book and uh, you know this is a very inspiring book like you know every page of it is quite inspiring how you have come across and the various initiatives that the foundation has taken so it's a really uh, insp- inspiring book which uh, we would recommend for our uh, viewers as well so thank you for talking to us uh, thank you to, for talking to the print on this soft cover thank you so much and i hope one day i'll uh, request the print team to come to one of our bastis and spend Definitely. an hour or two with the bachas trust me you'll go home laughing your jaws will hurt <laughs> you'll have such a good time that i can promise you definitely definitely thank you so thank much thank you